We've been ambushed by a Sith battle fleet. The Endar Spire is under attack. Hurry up, we don't have much time. I'm Trask Olgo, ensign with the Republic fleet. I'm your bunkmate here on the Endar Spire. We work opposite shifts. I guess that's why you haven't seen me before. Now hurry up! We have to find Bastila. We have to make sure she makes it off the ship alive. Bastil is the commanding officer on the Endar Spire. Well, not an officer, really. But she's the one in charge of this mission. One of our primary duties is to guarantee her survival in the event of an enemy attack. You swore an oath just like everyone else on this mission. Now it's time to make good on that oath. I've heard all about your reputation. Elite combat training, tops in your class. It's no wonder you were handpicked for this mission. Word is the officers haven't seen a recruit with your kind of potential in 20 years. But all that potential doesn't mean a thing if you can't deliver when it counts. We're soldiers. We're trained for combat. Bastil is going to need men and women like us at her side during this attack. So hurry up and grab your gear. You need to suit up so we can get out of here. Use the right thumbstick to control the camera and the left thumbstick to move towards your footlocker. Press the A button to open your locker once it is targeted, or you can pull the left and right triggers to cycle between targets until the footlocker is highlighted. Then press the A button to open it. Come on, we have to hurry! The Sith might already be boarding the ship to try and capture Bastila. Put your equipment on so we can get out of here. Use the equip screen to equip the armor and weapons from your inventory. You can access this by pressing the start button on your controller. Use the directional pad to cycle through your inventory slots. The menu on the right displays items you can equip in each slot. Press the A button to select an inventory slot. Then scroll through the available items and press the A button to equip one. Okay, let's move out. We should stick together. You'll have more success with a party than on your own. Because of the attack, this room is in lockdown. But don't worry, I've got the override codes. You'll have to use me to unlock the door. You always control the leader of the party. You can switch who is the party leader by pressing the black button. Press the black button now to switch me to the party leader, then use me to open the door. Simply target the door, then press the A button to open it. Now that the door is open, you better take the lead again. We have to get to the bridge. This is Carthel Nassi. The Sith are threatening to overrun our position. We can't hold out long against their firepower. All hands to the bridge! That was Karth contacting us on our portable communicators. He's one of the Republic's best pilots. He's seen more combat than the rest of the Endar Spire's crew put together. If he says things are bad, you better believe it. We have to get to the bridge to help defend Bastila. There's a map of the Endar Spire and a copy of Karth's message in your electronic journal, just in case we get separated. You can access your journal, map, and other important menus by pressing the Start button. You can then pull the left trigger to scroll through the menus listed on the tabs at the top of the screen.
That door's locked, and I don't have the codes to open it. You'll have to use your security skill on it if we want to get past. Target the door using the thumbsticks or the triggers. When the targeting circle is focused on the door, you'll see that the icons in the action menu at the bottom left of the screen have changed. Use the directional pad to cycle through the action until security is highlighted, then press the A button. Remember, the security icon only appears if you're controlling a character with the security skill. No problem. These Sith must be the advanced boarding party! For the Republic! I've got a feeling that won't be our last battle with the Sith. Good thing we have med packs to heal our wounds. It might be a good idea to use one now before our next battle. To use an item like a med pack, or to use a feat, skill, or force power, you'll need to know how to use your action menu. First, use the black button to take control of the injured character. Use the directional pad to cycle left or right through the icons of the action menu until you see med pack in the information box. Notice the flashing up and down arrows on this icon. This means you have more than one available option for this icon. You must choose between a med pack and an advanced med pack. Use the directional pad to scroll up or down to switch between your med pack and your advanced. In the lower left of the screen, you'll see a the icons in your. A the icon on the far left is always the default action for the target. Open for doors or containers, dialogue for friends, and attack for enemies. The second icon shows your feats and skills. The fourth icon is for offensive items like grenades. The icon on the far right shows defensive items like med packs, and the fifth shows defensive force powers like heal. The third icon is offensive force powers like choke and lightning.
It's a dark Jedi. This fight is too much for us. We better stay back. All we do is get in the way. That was one of the Jedi accompanying Bastila. Damn, they could have used her help. Bastila's not here on the bridge. They must have retreated to the escape pods. We better head that way, too. The Sith want Bastila alive, but once she's off the ship, there's nothing stopping them from blasting the Endar Spire into galactic dust. Something behind here. Damn, another Dark Jedi. I'll try to hold him off. You get to the escape pods. Go! Carthal Nassi on your personal communicator. I'm tracking your position through the Endar Spire's life support systems. Basila's escape pod is away. You're the last surviving crew member on the Endar Spire. Now I can't wait for you much longer. You have to get to the escape pods.
Program the damaged assault droid to help you if you have enough repair parts. Or you could use computer spikes to slice into the terminal and use the Endar Spire's security systems against the Sith. You've made it just in time. There's only one active escape pod left. Come on, we can hide out on the planet below. I'm a soldier with the Republic, like you. We're the last two crew members left in the Endar Spire. Basila's escape pod's already gone, so there's no reason for us to stick around here and get shot by the Sith. Now, come on, there'll be time for questions later. Basil's escape pod's already gone, so there's no reason for us to stick around here and get shot by the Sith. Now, come on! There'll be time for questions later. Good to see you up instead of thrashing about in your sleep. You must have been having one hell of a nightmare. I was wondering if you were ever going to wake up. I'm Karth, one of the Republic soldiers from the Endar Spire. I was with you in the escape pod. Do you remember? Well, you've been slipping in and out of consciousness for a couple of days now, so I imagine you're pretty confused about things. But try not to worry. We're safe. At least for the moment. We're in an abandoned apartment on the planet of Terrace. 
We were banged up pretty bad when our escape pod crashed, but luckily I wasn't seriously hurt. I was able to drag you away from our crash site in all the confusion, and I stumbled into this abandoned apartment. By the time the Sith arrived in the scene, we were long gone. Terrace is under Sith control. Their fleet is orbiting the planet, they've declared martial law, and they've imposed a planet-wide quarantine. But I've been in worse spots. I saw on your service records that you understand a remarkable number of alien languages. That's pretty rare in a raw recruit. But it should come in handy while we're stranded on a foreign world. There is no way the Republic will be able to get anyone through the Sith blockade to help us. If we're gonna find Bastila and get off this planet, we can't rely on anybody but ourselves. That smack to your head did more damage than I thought. Bastila's a Jedi. She was with the strike team that killed Darth Revan, Malak's Sith Master. Bastila's the key to the whole Republic war effort. The Sith must have found out that she was on the Endor Spire and set an ambush for us in this system. I believe Bastila was on one of the escape pods that crashed down here in Terrace. For the sake of the Republic war effort, we have to try and find her. Basila's gonna need our help. Many of Darth Malak's followers have mastered the dark side of the Force, and the Sith have already killed more than their share of Jedi in this war. I doubt anyone's specifically looking for us anymore. We're not that important. But if we're careful, we can move about the planet without attracting notice. A luxury Basila won't have. She's gonna have half the Sith fleet looking for her. They know how vital she is to the war effort. And Basila's no ordinary Jedi. She has a rare gift the Jedi call battle meditation. Basila's power can influence entire armies. Through the Force, Basila can inspire her allies with confidence and make her enemies lose their will to fight. And often that's all it takes to tip the balance in a battle. But there are limits to what she can do. From what I understand of her ability, it requires great concentration and focus to maintain her battle meditation. The attack on the Endar Spire happened so fast, she probably never even had a chance to use her power. I'm guessing she barely got out alive, and now she's trapped here just as we are. The whole planet is under quarantine. No ships can land or take off. So if Basil's gonna escape Terrace, she's gonna need our help, and we'll probably need hers. While you were out, I did some scouting around. There are reports of a couple of skate pods crashing down into the Undercity. It's probably a good place to start. But the Undercity's a dangerous place. We don't want to go there unprepared, and it won't do Basil any good if we go and get ourselves killed. I'll tell you whatever I can, though I, I don't know how much help it'll be. Everything I know about Malak is pretty much common knowledge. He escaped the trap that killed Darth Revan, his Sith Master. With Revan's death, Malak became the new Dark Lord. It's obvious that Malak's a ruthless tyrant who'll crush anyone who stands in his way, just like Revan was. Experience has shown that the Sith won't stop until the Republic lies in ruins. Malak and his Sith don't respect anything except raw, brutal power. It's hard to imagine how someone who used to be a Jedi could become such a monster. Malak and Revan were once both part of the Jedi Order, but they were young and headstrong, and against the wishes of the Council, they went to battle the Mandalorians on the Outer Rim. Something happened out there. Something corrupted them and drew them over to the dark side. Or maybe there was something rotten inside them all along. I don't know. They formed an army of ex-Republic soldiers and Jedi who'd fallen to the dark side, with Revan at their head until Revan was killed by Basila's Jedi strike team. But even that didn't slow the Sith down. Malak just stepped in and assumed Revan's role. He took control of the Sith Armada and resumed the bloody conquest of the Outer Worlds. Well, I hope you're right. But the Republic hasn't been able to stop them so far, even with the support of the Jedi Council. I think Basila may be the galaxy's last hope. Taurus was once a magnificent planet-wide metropolis of towering skyscrapers, but that was a long time ago. The upper city where the rich citizens live is, is still pretty safe. If it wasn't for the Sith occupation and the planet-wide quarantine, it might not even be a bad place to live. But farther down, things have degenerated. The, the lower city is nothing but a slum overrun by swoop bike gangs, waging a never-ending war for control. And the undercity is... That's even worse. The lowest level of Terrace is a wasteland overrun by rack ghouls. Mindless, diseased mutants that attack on sight. 
I've already entered all this info into your data pad journal. I understand why you want to know more about me. I, I kind of get the feeling we'll be spending a lot of time together over the next while. But this isn't really the best time for long introductions. We should stay focused on the task at hand. There'll be a time for that later. Good idea. We can use this abandoned apartment as a base. We can probably get some equipment and supplies here in the upper city. Just remember to keep a low profile. I've heard some grim stories about the Dark Jedi interrogation techniques. They say the Force can do terrible things to a mind. It can wipe away your memories and destroy your very identity. But I figure if we don't do anything stupid, we should be okay. I mean, after all, they're, they're looking for Bastila, not a couple of grunts like us. All right, soldier, let's move out. Okay, you alien scum. Everybody get up against the wall. This is a raid. That's how we sit deal with smart mouth aliens. Now the rest of you get up against the wall before I lose my temper again. Hey, what's this? Humans hiding out with aliens? They're Republic fugitives. Attack! Ina kun ba ma ruli ra ra chikun, slimo padona, mundi ha donga chikun kabi. Chawana bota ayuha ta honga cha kanki dora, kachi ku ita ho donga. Topa da bunk wali agando do na no chut chut. Musha pa pumpa, bola wana chitne. Ba muli slimo boda wanga kun bes muli ra ra best. Uba batu kochi, tong nong bong chang nung yang, tong patok smak delia. Chawana bota ayuha ta honga cha kanki dora, kachi ku ita ho donga, topa... No problem. Got it. Who are you? What are you doing in here? You can't just come barging into someone's home. That's no excuse. You can't just go around barging into people's apartments because you're curious. But at least you're more polite than that pig, Holden. Just one of Darvik's men who can't keep his hands to himself. But all he got for his trouble was a nasty scar from my vibroblade. Too bad I'm the one still paying the price. I, I don't want to talk about it. I'm in enough trouble already. Besides, I don't know if I can trust you. No, I don't think so. I can't afford to trust anybody right now. Please, just leave me alone. I can't help you there. Since this thing with Holden, I've been scared to leave my apartment. 
I don't know anything about what's going on in the outside world anymore. Good. I don't much like strangers in my home. Tong hai tuam jiji jum lumpa. Nita poe tikito. Dolpa da bongwaleo gandona chuchut. Kachi chu ita dundonga. You malita kuto tun. Chila mulane ni du bobo. Wonga kumbis jang ba mulera. Runda di hotonga kun hanka bi. Wanna kun bez ching palamule tung king ba nunotek. Tuk ning chatu kune mulera bez. Chi gratu loda pograshi on neon comba chin tumba mutuba. Loda nita kun. Ida patisa batua kachatu tung. Bograsha kun tijaka um. Chubakaha chopa chawachuish yunku. Jodo jid bunga rantan. Takum justak miki grabble mogo. Kachichu ita bodunga. Tolba bank waleo ganda naru chuchut. Mogesha punga bola wana chikne. Bamule slimo poda da da nanga kumbist mule rabes. And I can tell you from experience that they aren't any good at all against a simple vibroblade. That's why the Republic has been training soldiers in hand to hand and melee combat. Tong hai tuam jiji jum lumpa. Nita poe tikito. Dolpa da bongwaleo gandona chuchut. Kachi chu ita dundonga. You malita kuto tun. Chila mulane ni du bobo. Wonga kumbis jang ba mulera. Ta kum justak miki grabal mogo. Kachi chu ita bodunga. Dolpa bank waleo ganda naru chuchut. Mogesha punga bola wana chikne. Ba mule slimo poda da nanga kumbist mule rabes. Chi gratu loda pograshi onio kumba chin tumba mutuba. Loda nita kun. Ita patisa batua kachatu tung. Ba grasha kun tijaka um. Chubakaha chopa chawachuish yunku. Jodo jid bunga rantang. Tolpa da bongwale gandu nangu chuchut. Kava dum ku pilio bo tenya. Bona nai kuchu. Hawaga boska chokola. Mucha shag panka. Runda di hotonga kun hanka bi. Wana kun bez ching palamule tung king ba nunotek. Tuk ning chatu kune mule rabes. Tong abog sha umni nang wanga kumbis keng balemuraya. Chuni yun tun chichi ita duana. Kava volpa mulje gumana? Tag bis jubongko koki magpaka. Ching pala chiska mule tunarana nu prata dungko si char duma wamama tuks keba toma. Nishai Julorchai Kinguno Bulera Jikun Chanshak Bulara Umrao Chiska Duchi On Chuban Jishka Yanki Titoke Gratung Kun Chichakun King Kachachonobra Bogra Walano Tumbacha Nechi Chuna Chubaching Lorda Itakun We Tam Boragatong, mulira ashang turung ni na potata tuanga chun tize. Igrutu haga jijiwa, wata juma wana hu wama hulhu na tek. Chi gratu loda bograshi onio kumba chin tumbo mutuba. Loda nita kun, ita patisa batua kachatu tung. Bograsha kun tijaka um. Chubakaha chopa chawachuish yunku. Jodo jid bunga rantan. Muchashak pakhat. Kiye nono dama paole rachikun.
ボルバンクワレオガンダナルチュチュッボルバンクワレオガンダナルチュチュッボルバンクワレオガンダナルチュチュッボルバンクワレオガンダナルチュチュッボルバンクワレオガンダナルチュチュッボルバンクワレオガ
The best place to go is probably Kebley Yurt's store. She's right across from the cantina, so you can stop in for a drink if you get thirsty while you're shopping. Just keep following the apartment complex ring until you come to the elevator. It'll take you out to the upper streets there. Then. And from there, just head south a ways. You can't miss it. Don't know how much I can... Not much of an issue for me, you know. I ain't never left Tars, and they ain't never gonna. A lot of other folks are sure riled up about it, but I don't really know much about it. I prefer to keep to myself, mostly. But there's plenty of people at the cantina who'll be more than happy to tell you what they think about the Sith and their quarantine. I should get back to work anyway. I'll probably see you around. I'm here most of the time. The building doesn't clean itself, you know. Chuta. Taurus used to be a nice place before the Sith showed up and started bossing us around. Yes, what's on your mind? Me? Well, I've been a star pilot for the Republic for years. I've seen more than my share of wars. I fought in the Mandalorian Wars before all this started. But with all that, I've never experienced anything like the slaughter these Sith animals can unleash. Not even the Mandalorians were that senseless. My home world was one of the first planets to fall to Malak's fleet. The Sith bombed it into submission, and there wasn't a damn thing a Republic forces could do to stop them. It shouldn't be my fault. I did everything I could. I followed my orders and did my duty. That that shouldn't mean I failed them. I, I didn't. Yeah, no, I... That's not what I mean. I mean, I, I'm sorry, I'm not making much sense in life. You probably mean well with your questions. I'm just not accustomed to talking about my past very much. At all, actually. I'm more used to taking action. Keeping my mind focused on the business at hand. So let's just do that. If you have more questions, ask them later. Hello there. I haven't seen you in my shop before. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Kebla Yurt. Welcome to the Equipment Emporium. You looking to buy some supplies? My shop's the largest one in all of Upper Terrace. Best selection on the planet. Whatever you need, I've got. Well, mostly. Mostly? What do you mean by that? The Sith confiscated all my heavy weapons and they impounded all my ships and swoop bikes. But I've still got a real nice selection if you're interested. Uh, just so you know, the prices on the items are our final. No bargaining here. This isn't a swap meet, okay? I only deal in top-notch stuff.
Welcome to the... Anything I can do to help a potential customer out. What do you want to know? I heard a couple of pods crash down in the Undercity. I bet the crash sites have already been stripped clean by the Sith, though. Unless the Swoop Gangs or Dabix men got there first. I don't have anything good to say about those Swoop Gangs. Zooming around on their Swoop bikes, terrorizing the lower city like a bunch of animals. Things weren't so bad when the Hidden Becks were running the show. But ever since the rise of the Black Volker Gang, <laughs> The lower city has been nothing short of a war zone. The Sith haven't even bothered trying to maintain order down there. And I heard a rumor that Davik's own people are having problems with the Black Volkers now. Oh, Davik's a legitimate businessman, if you get my drift. Smuggling, slaving, extortion. Mm -hmm. They say he's a member of the Exchange, you know, the big intergalactic criminal organization. Mm. Well, I've heard of the Exchange. Bad organization to cross. But if anyone has blockade breaking ships, however, it's them. I have to pay them a protection fee every month, but it's reasonable. And I get most of my inventory through Davik and his suppliers. I'm just smart enough not to ask where it came from, you understand? Davik hates the Sith as much as anybody. The quarantine has put a real dent in his operations, too. But he's keeping a low profile as long as the occupation lasts. <laughs> Davik stays out of the way, and the Sith don't bother him. The swoop gangs could learn a thing or two from this tidy little arrangement, instead of always going after each other. Uh, it's not smart to say bad things about the people in power, if you get my meaning. I just wish the Sith would ease up on the quarantine, though. They're killing my business. I can't say I like having them here in Upper City, but it could be worse, and we're still a lot better off than the Lower City, what with those swoop gangs and all. Oh, you're one of those off-worlders, aren't you? Come to Terrace for a short business trip and end up stuck here because of the Sith quarantine, right? Oh, you can't be too happy. Trapped on an unfamiliar world and all. But Terrace isn't so bad. As long as you stay in the upper city, just try to avoid the Sith. And stay out of the lower city. The swoop gangs are totally out of control. Even Davik's men are having trouble down there. Good day to you, then. Uh, remember to come back to my shop if you ever need any supplies. I heard there's a swoop gang war in the lower city. They say you can get shot just walking in the streets down there. I heard the Sith are sending salvage teams down to the Undercity to recover those Republic escape pods. Greetings and good day. On behalf of the new Sith rulers, I am programmed to encourage you to enjoy your stay on Taurus. I am a cryptical droid programmed to provide information to everyone on Taurus, citizens and visitors alike. Is there something I can do to serve you? The Sith are the new authority here on Taurus. They seek to preserve the customs of our world, or so I am told. More than this I cannot say. May I be of any further service to you? I am afraid that is impossible. Taras is currently under a planet-wide quarantine. The Sith are allowing no one to arrive or leave, except on official Sith business. May I be of any further service to you? The Taras Tourism Board has issued a strong warning to all visitors to avoid the lower city. It is a violent and dangerous place you would do well to avoid. May I be of any further service to you? Alien species have restricted access to the other city. This is one of the most ancient traditions of Taras, and the Sith have promised to preserve such traditions. Of course, I have yet to see them arrest a single alien for traveling the other city without a permit. May I be of any further service to you? I am an employee of the Taras government, programmed to provide information and guidance to any who require it. May I be of any further service to you? Then, if you will excuse me, I must continue my appointed grounds. Out of our way, citizen. We're on official Sith business. Just 
Stand aside if you know what's good for you. Out of our way, citizen. We're on official Sith business. Just stand aside if you know what's good for you. Out of our way, citizen. We're on official Sith business. Just stand aside if you know what's good for you. I can't believe the Sith put a quarantine on the planet. It's bad enough we can't... If the Sith want... What's this? Another off-worlder? I didn't realize how many of you there were on Terrace. If there was Sith quarantine... Davik says you missed your last payment. Well, good guys. Good night, then, please. Good night, then, here, fuck. Here, I I've got 50 credits, a down payment. That should buy me some time, right? Sorry, you're out of time. Now it's all or nothing. Davik can't have people not paying his debts. But I don't have that much. How can I give you credits I don't have? Good night, then, here, fuck. Good night, then, please. No, help! Somebody help! They're going to kill me! I know we have to be careful about drawing attention to ourselves, but are we gonna just let them drag this guy off? Hold on a second. Looks like we got ourselves a witness here. Thank you. I owe you my life. Those bounty hunters are going to take me away and kill me. My wife warned me not to take a loan from Davik. Now I can't pay him back. It's not good to owe a crime lord money. He'll just keep sending more bounty hunters after me till I'm dead. You already helped me by saving me from those bounty hunters, so unless you have a spare 100 credits to give me so I can pay off Davik, there's nothing else you can do. I'm getting out of here before any more of Davik's goons show up. You should do the same! Can't you see I'm busy with my duties? Go talk to Zelka if you need something. I see from your appearance that you are an off-worlder. Still, you are welcome here. I'll not have it said that Zelka Foran refused to help somebody just because they weren't a citizen of Taras. Do you require healing or medical supplies? I can treat almost any injury or ailment right here at the medical facility. Except the rat ghoul disease, of course. The terrible affliction has plagued Terrace for many generations. It is spread by the Rat Ghouls, horrible monsters that live in the Undercity below Terrace's great skyscrapers. Prolonged exposure to the Undercity breeds the disease, and those infected will eventually mutate into Rat Ghouls themselves, becoming mindless beasts that feed on the flesh of others. Mm, there is no antidote for the disease, though I heard the Republic scientists at the military base here on Terrace were close to perfecting a cure. Then the Sith arrived. They overran the military base, and now they refuse to allow anyone access to the laboratories inside. The Sith are keeping all the serum for the patrols they send into the Undercity. If I could just get my hands on a sample of that serum, the Rat Ghoul disease could be wiped from the face of Terrace forever. But I don't see how that's going to happen. I don't see how anyone could get their hands on that serum. The military base is crawling with Sith guards. Breaking in there would be a suicide mission. I suppose the Sith patrols in the Undercity might have a sample of the serum on them, if they hadn't already used it because of a rat ghoul infection. But I doubt a patrol would just hand the serum over, and nobody is stupid enough to attack one of the Sith patrols, even in the Undercity. Please, don't say that! If the Sith hear you, they might think I'm suggesting you start attacking their patrols, and that they could shut me down. 
I only mentioned the serum because you asked. I don't actually expect anyone to get me the serum. Now, is there anything else I can do for you? I am quite busy maintaining the facility, but I suppose I could spare a bit of time to answer some questions. What would you like to know? <laughs> I know enough to be scared of them. I've heard about the brutality of the Sith. I know what they do to the planets they conquer. So far, all they've done is ask me some general questions, but... I'm afraid they might one day decide to shut this facility down simply out of evil spite. I guess there's not much I can do about the Sith. Except hope that the Republic finds a way to stop their conquest of the entire galaxy. I am quite busy, main. The terrible affliction has plagued Terrace for many prolonged exposure. I am quite busy maintaining... I don't know much, but I'll tell you what I can. Do you want to know about Upper Terrace, or are you more interested in Lower Terrace and the Undercity? The people here in the Upper City generally like to think they're better than the rest of Terrace, but we're no better than anyone else. The people here can be selfish, greedy, arrogant, even prejudiced. That's why aliens need special permission to leave the Lower City. Maybe if more people in the Upper City weren't so self-centered, things wouldn't be so bad in the Lower City and the Undercity. The Lower City has been overrun by swoop gangs and thugs. If you're going to travel down there, you'd better go armed. If you don't get attacked by one of the swoop gangs, you'll probably end up beaten and robbed by one of Davik's thugs. Soon it will be as bad as the Undercity. Davik is the resident crime lord of Terrace. He deals in stolen goods, he trades in slaves and contraband, and it would take a month to list all the people he's made disappear. His slimy grasp even reaches here into Upper Terrace. Most of the shops pay him protection money, so he'll leave them alone. Yeah, the man is nothing but a thug. I guess I'm lucky. Since my medical facility doesn't make any profits, Davik doesn't bother me. But if you ask me, he's no better than the Sith. I know enough to be scared of them. I've heard about the brutality of the Sith. I know what they do to the planets they conquer. So far, all they've done is ask me some general questions, but... I'm afraid they might one day decide to shut this facility down simply out of evil spite. I guess there's not much I can do about the Sith. Except hope that the Republic finds a way to stop their conquest of the entire galaxy. I am quite busy, mate. Republic escape pods? I... No. Why would you ask me that? I don't know. Those pods crashed in the Undercity. I'm not involved in any way. I'm not defensive. I just don't like being accused of knowing something about those Republic pods. This is as bad as an interrogation by the Sith. Well, you don't look like you're with the Sith. Uh, I guess I can tell you my secret. Or rather, I can show you. Since the space battle overhead, people have been secretly bringing in these Republic soldiers who crash-landed on the planet. I had to take them in. What choice did I have? Their injuries are terrible. Most won't survive. But at least I can make their last days more comfortable. And at least here, they're hidden away from the Sith. Well, for that, you have my thanks. It's good to know that at least some of these men ended up in compassionate hands. I hate to imagine what the Sith would do if they discovered these soldiers here. But since their initial questioning, the Sith have not returned, so it may be my fears are unfounded. I'm afraid there's nothing more anyone can do for these soldiers. Now, if you'll excuse me, I should return to the front in case anyone comes in needing medical attention. Welcome back. Are you in need of healing, or...? I am quite busy maintaining... Of course. Just step over here and I'll show you what I have in stock. My prices are very reasonable. Just what I need to keep this facility operating. Wait a minute. 
I need to talk to you about the Rakul serum. I've got an offer for you you might want to hear. Zelka isn't the only one who wants to get his hands on the Rakul serum. Davik Kang will pay you ten times what Zelka can if you can get the cure. Oh, come on. Everybody knows who Davik Kang is. He's the big boss around here. Gambling, smuggling, extortion. He's got a piece of all the action on Taris. I prefer to think of him as a role model. He started with nothing, and now he's got it all. Credits, power, women... It's the Teresian dream, right? Davik's interested in anything that can turn a profit. He could make a fortune selling the serum to anyone infected with the disease. Not like Zelka, who'll practically give it away. Look, Zelka can't afford to pay me much. If you sell the serum to Davik, I can probably get a nice finder's fee for directing you to him. Hmm. I'll just deny it. Who's Zelka gonna believe? Me or some off-world stranger? Now be smart about this. You'll get a better deal selling to Davik. Davik isn't the kind of guy you can just walk up to, you know. He likes to keep his business at arm's length. The best thing to do is to take the Rakul serum to Zax. He runs the Lower City Bounty Office, but everyone knows he also works for Davik. He'll make it worth your while. Helping people is all well and good, but you have to help yourself first, right? I'm telling you, Davik will pay big credits for the cure. More than Zelka could ever afford. And then only the rich could afford the cure. Just let the poor suffer, right? If you find the Rakul serum, just take it to Zax in the Lower City Bounty Office. He works for Davik. He'll pay you what that cure is really worth. Remember... Sending cell greetings and good day. On behalf of the new Sith rulers, I am programmed to encourage you to enjoy your stay on Taurus. I am a cryptical droid programmed to provide information to everyone on Taurus, citizen. I am an employee of the Taurus. May I be of any further? Then, if you will excuse. planet coming to, huh? <gasps> Swami's just walking around the upper city. Shouldn't you go to Lars says you belong, Slummy? Oh, this is rich. Yeah, like he said. These streets are for upper city citizens. <laughs> you better get out of the way if you know what's good for you. Hey, this Slummy's got a mouth. Oh, great. We're fighting the drunks, are we? And do they stink? You talk big, Schlummy. Maybe you should show us a little more respect. Time to teach you a lesson, Schlummy. Maybe you'll think twice about coming up into our turf.
If this crazy street preacher keeps on about... The evil walks among us, with friends and fellow humans. I bring you a warning. A warning of a great plague spreading across our planet. Please, listen to me. My name is Gorton Kolu. Will you join my cause? We must band together if we are to stop the spread of vermin and scum throughout Taris. I am speaking of the hideous-looking aliens who walk the world of Taris. The Wookies and Ithorians and Rodians and Bith, all of them! Listen, friend, for these are dark times. That is why I, Gorton Kolu, have formed the Anti-Alien League. The time has come for action! We cannot sit idly by while aliens blight our glorious planet! You are like all the rest. You will not see the truth. On the day of reckoning, you will suffer with the rest of the alien lovers. Come on, we should keep moving. Cook or no, people like him can make trouble for us. It pains me to see that an alien lover such as yourself is still allowed to walk free. I've seen how the Sith operate. I know they will support my anti-alien policies. When the Day of Reckoning comes, you will suffer with the rest of the scum and alien lovers. You are like all the rest. You will not- Come on, we should- It pains me. When the Day of Reckoning comes, you are like all- Come on, we should keep- from the way you're dressed that you're not one of the Sith patrols. So unless you have the authorization papers, you must move along. If you were supposed to have them, you'd know where to get them. Now quit wasting my time and move along. I'm not here to give you information. I work for the Sith, not the Taurus Taurus board. Now just move along, unless you have the proper authorization papers. Listen to me, people. There is a terrible scourge sweeping up. My mama says I have to stay out of the lower city. That's where the bad people are. King Kun Shi Kaikachin Awana Wamata Nishi La Chorga King Kun Palamona Reji Ching Pala Niska Mule Dun Rata Tigan Podranko. The search at Doma wanna come Tama. We team and bone rank thong. Muli ra on shanturing um ni patoga wanga chonzi tse. Ika krotu haku jije. Watu yama kama wuna henak neck. Kipuna. Bona na kichu. Kin ba mule ra dwana. Thong kin ba no kudnok neck. Kava numpa kum pialia monokata. Ranga kun bis kin no moruat. You'd think people would be a little more tolerant of others in this day and age. <laughs> I guess stupidity and ignorance will never go out of style. Kenchopa chawi ti chok twis yun kun watu yama kama wuna henak neck bugra shak kunti chi wa um chawa tong abuk shami no nok china pala mule tong ki ba non tontek tun ni cha chon kun ne mule brabast. King Kun Shi Kaikachin Awana Wamata Nishi La Chorga King Kun Palamona Reji Ching Pala Niska Mule Dun Rata Tigan Podranko The Search at Doma Wana Kondatama Kuyami Juu Chik Chita Nai Padogta Yafulke Gogala Jiji Kawana Bora Atugawa Kanki Do Rakun Watimi Alabola Kakin cha na guat na bon con, wana kumbes, chi pala mulek, tonki pa na nonek, tu nik ton chun chun ke nemolek rabest, wuf mala nibo gurk.
mucha shaka paga ye ki kon no ba mulad raki chiton bona na kachu kicha badwang wanga kum kiba bu mulera kakin chak nawa gawa bakon donk ki ba nukunek tanga bok sha um nak nong mucha shaka paga ye ki kon no ba mulad raki chiton Tanga bok sha um nak nong kin kun shin shin kin ni kin kun na bule mule raji kun chuni yun ni chi chi alduana kava volpa muli kumana Hachu a punky, Jisha Tangabun shan om nang Wanga kun beast kin ba mula rag Choni yun tun jiji either dwan Kakin cha na guat na bon con Wana kun bes chi pala Witi membo rank thong Muli ra on shaturing um ni patoga wanga chonzi tse. Ika krotu haku jije. Watu yama kama wuna henak nek. Haku jinkopa. Jino mula rak gampiak. Slim jo puan wanduana. Tangabun shan om nang. Wanga kun beast kin ba mula rak. Choni yun tun jiji either duana. Kava vulpa mulji gumana. Tanga bok sha um nak nong kin kun shin shin kin ni kin kun na bule mule raji kun chuni yun ni chi chi alduana kava volpa muli kumana hachu a punky jishawa a nibung ka sha chona si ichua byong bo joni mina mamba to mule ra haku gri kat gota parabola Kakin cha na guat na bon con. Wana kumbes. Chi pala mulek. Tong ki pa nag nonek. Tu nik ton chun chun ki nemolek ra best. Wuf mala nibo gurk. China pala mule. Tong ki ba non tontek. Tu ni cha chon kun ne mule ra best. Kipuna. Bona na kichu. Kin ba mule ra duana. Tong ki ba no kudnok nek. Kava numpa kum piali al monokata. Ranga kun bis kin no moruat. Kakin cha na guana bokon. Ni bajoni yo la wish. Dopa yuma pasen lapti non goto. Kenchopa chawi ti chop twis yun kun. Watu yama kama wuna henak nek. Bugra shak kun ti chi wa um chawa. Dong abuk shami no nok. Kipuna na bon sha. Kava dumpa kupaliaya moka pata. Tangabun shan om nang. Wanga kun beast kin ba mula rag. Choni yun tun jiji either. Hachu a punky. Jishawa a nibon kakin cha. China pala mu. Randi i chawa tongbola johnny ku. You may want to know about Laura Weisha Waga Shichi. Run the e chawa tongbola Johnny Koo. 
Yuma Wama Nibu Lora Waisha Waga Shichi Genchopa Chawi Tichok Twis Yun Kun Watu Yama Kama Wuna Henak Nek Bugra Shak Kunti Chiwa Mchawa Dong Abuk Shami Nonok Kakin Cha Na Gwat Na Bon Kon Wana Kumbes Chi Pala Mulek Tong Ki Pa Na Nonek Tu Nik Tong Chun Chun Ki Nemolek Rabest Wuf mala ni bokurk. Kipuna na bon sha. Kava dumpa kupaliaya mokai pata. Kuyami juo chikchita na patogta. Yafulke gogala jiji. Kawana bora atugawa. Kanki do rakun. Watimi ala bola. Tangabun shan om nong, wanga kun beast ki bona na kachu, kicha badwang, wanga kum kiba bu mule rag, kakin chak nawa gawa bakon, tong kiba nukunek, tanga bok sha um nak nong, mucha shakapanka, ye ki kun no ba mula draki chiton. Randi i chawa tongbola Johnny Ku, yuma wama nibo lora waisha waga shichi. I'm here on a... Don't you just love watching the Pazak players? All that strategy, all those credits. It's enough to make a girl get all flushed.
What do you want? Have you come here just to bother me, or do you wish to test yourself against the best Pazak player on Taurus? <laughs> My name is Niklos. I'm the unofficial champion of the Pazak circuit here on Taurus. If you don't mind losing your wager, we could play a few hands. You don't even have your own deck? Then why are you bothering me? You can't play Pazak without your own deck. If you're serious about Pazak, go speak to old Garok on the other side of the tavern. His gambling days are over and uh, he's looking to sell his deck. Hello there, youngster. You interested in buying the Pazak deck of an old man looking to get out of the gambling game? Just 50 credits and I'll sell you all my cards. I'll even throw in a free lesson to boot. It's a great deal, if you can afford it. Don't get me wrong. The game's been good to me over the years. I've traveled the span of the galaxy, from the core worlds to the farthest reaches of the Outer Rim. I've won countless fortunes, and lost countless more. But that was long ago, and things have changed. Gambling is a young man's game. That's why I'm looking to get out. My offer still stands. Fifty credits get you my old Pazak deck, and a free lesson. A great offer if you can afford it. I'm sorry to hear that, but 50 credits is my best offer. I'm practically giving the deck away at that price. If you want it, it's yours. If not, no hard feelings. Of course, of course, my mind isn't as sharp as it used to be. That's why I'm giving up the gambler's life. But I think I can still manage to answer some simple questions. Don't know what I can tell you that would be of any use. The upper city is nice enough, though it was better before the Sith showed up. But they don't bother an old guy like me much. Don't know much about the lower city. It's rough down beneath. I just stay up here where it's safe and mind my own business. I don't see much point in worrying about that kind of stuff now that I've given up the gambler's life. Is there anything else I can do for you? Of course. I spend my days here in the cantina, sipping ale and chatting with the folks who wander by. I don't have much use or care what goes on outside these walls. I don't see much point in worrying about that kind of stuff now that I've given up the gambler's life. Is there anything else I can do for you? Of course. Of course, of course. No sense in a youngster like you wasting your days away with an old man in a dingy bar. But if you ever want to chat, you know where to find me.